Hi there crafters, this is Stephanie Hackney with Paper Crafters Corner. For those of you who aren't familiar with Paper Crafters Corner, we are a leading information, inspiration, and entertainment site for paper crafters around the world. We have paper crafters from all over the U.S. and about 145 countries that visit our site and all of our social media channels on a daily basis. And our goal is always to bring you news and information and fun, inspiring activities uh, lots of giveaways, some shares, and now we're going to start sharing product reviews with you. And these will be unbiased, unpaid product reviews from products that manufacturers in the industry are sending us. And we've told them ahead of time, whatever you send us, we're going to give a really honest review. So we will be sharing the good, the bad, and the ugly. And hopefully most of the products will be mostly good. Um, and I think a lot of them I think you're going to find are very great. Uh, so we're going to start out with our first official product, uh, and that is the Color Cubbies from Studio 3 Solutions. So what you're going to see here are two examples of the Color Cubbies, one with some product already in it, one without. These products are made in the USA. They are made with a wood with a vinyl finish. The entire outer casing is a, is a wood with vinyl finish. And then the facings of both the shelves and the unit itself are painted with a, a vinyl-based enamel. And they all come white um, and they are made in the USA. Uh, these are sold directly uh, by them on their website and we'll share that information at the end of the video. So because I know that for most of you it's very important to understand how large these products are, I'm going to share a little bit of that information and then what the products were originally intended for and then some other ways you might want to use them. So the product measures 14 inches high, 4 and 5 16 inches wide, and 5 and a half inches deep. So again, 14 inches high, 4 and 5 16 inches wide, and the depth of the shells is 5 and a half inches deep. And what you'll notice about these shelves is that they are slanted. And to give you a little bit better view of that, I'm going to lay an object in here and then turn it sideways so that you can see that this product is slanted. And the reason for that is because when you go to pull pens out, you don't want them all to come out at one time. So here's a great example. If you pull a pen out of the middle of this stack, only one comes out at a time. And that's really important when you've got this fully loaded and you don't want all the pens to come tumbling out, which they will tend to do if the shelves are real flat. So the product was originally made to hold Copic markers, and that's what you see here. And it holds 140 markers, 28 in each one of these five cubbies. It will also hold 90 total Spectrum Noir markers. Those are markers made by Crafters Companion, great company out of the UK. And it will hold 18 in each of the cubbies. Now, because I just purchased a bunch of these Tim Holtz Distress Markers, I wanted to see how many would fit in there, and I thought maybe you might be interested in that as well. And it holds, as you can see, 37 of these markers in one cubby. However, it is very snug, so I would probably put maybe 35 in here. And I'm going to show you very quickly move this one out of the way, that when you pull any of these pins out, again, the other ones are going to stay put. These are going to come out very easily and go back in very easily, and that's great when you're doing coloring. So very important. The reason that these were made in this fashion, that they are vertical and all your pens are stored horizontally, is because many of the manufacturers, including the Distress uh, marker manufacturer Ranger Inc. recommends that these pens be stored horizontally, not like this, not vertically. And that is because there's a wicking mechanism in here that wicks the ink to both ends. If you store them this way, all the ink is going to end up down at this end. You store them this end, this way, the ink will run down to this end. And you can get the ink to go back to the other end with a little bit of work. However, again, they recommend that you store the markers in this fashion, and so that's how we're doing it. So let's also talk about some of the other ways that you might use this product. You can store it this way, in this fashion, 
so that you've got all of your pockets facing upwards and then it'll work great for things like scissors so you have a bunch of different scissors you can pop all those in here and it could be a great little tool device and easy to take with you to the kitchen table lay out on the table on a crop it doesn't have a big footprint so it doesn't take up a lot of space which is very important um, and then you can also use it for things like dies if you have thin dies and envelopes you can put those into these cubbies and then also for project life items. These are some items that I might have been using for project life and as you can see they fit very nicely in there and because of the way the shelves are made you can very easily flip through these and quickly find what it is you're looking for. So I think that overall the product is very well made, has a very nice finish to it, uh, they seem very sturdy I like that they don't take up a ton of space, but they hold a lot. Uh, they're made by a husband and wife, and um, so it's you know great to, to buy products from a, a mom and pop operation and uh, and support the small business owner. Uh, overall, I would give them a rating of nine out of ten. Uh, and I find that they uh, would definitely be a good value. So we will share all of the information about how you can find these products, how you can make the purchase of them directly from the company online. We'll share that at the bottom of this video and also in our blog post. Thanks so much for joining us today and happy paper crafting. See ya.